Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor. It is once again Sakurako and Tokyo Treat. Sakurako and Tokyo Treat are monthly subscription services that deliver popular and traditional treats to your doorstep. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Tokyo Treat. So this month's theme for Tokyo Treat is gonna be Sakura Picnic. So there's gonna be a lot of exclusive Sakura themed treats in this box. So like always, there's gonna be a booklet inside that's gonna explain every single item in this box. So we have a Kit Kat Banana Caramel flavor and a Pringles Cream Stew flavor. I've never seen these in America before. <laughs> so what's really cool about this month's box for Tokyo Treat is that there's actually some exclusive items that you can only get within Tokyo Treat. And that's gonna be this Pine Ame Sakura candy and the Tokyo Layer Loft Cake, Strawberry and Red Bean flavor. So again, these are items that are exclusive to Tokyo Treat subscribers. I'm gonna try the Loft Cake real quick. Oh, it smells really good. Let's go ahead and taste it. I love these type of bread. Not too sweet, really good, soft, delicious. So next we have the pine candy. I've actually had the pineapple version, but I've never had any other flavors. So let's go ahead and try it. Hmm, sweetness is just right. Now let's open the Sakurako box. So this month's theme for Sakurako is matcha and mochi, two of my favorite things. So like the Tokyo Treat box, this one will also come with a booklet and this tells you all of the items in here as well and its history. This Sakura Sencha tea right here is actually exclusive to Sakurako and it actually pairs very well with all the items in this month's box. This one right here is actually jam-packed with a lot of my favorite traditional Japanese snacks. We have the matcha cream daifuku. We have a matcha flavor karinto, which I've actually never had, but I love karinto, so I'm actually excited to try this guy right here. We also, of course, got some matcha manju, which I'm very excited for. And we also have a bunch of senbiz, which Obviously, I'm going to eat and drink with the tea. I need to eat the daifuku because it's my favorite. Yeah, that's the stuff. You also receive an exclusive home item good in the Sakuraka box. And this month, it's going to be a chopstick. Now, I've actually been meaning to buy a new chopstick, so this is actually pretty nice to have. So you guys are probably going to be asking, what's the difference between these boxes, Kita? I'll tell you. Sakurako has 20 different traditional and authentic artesian snacks, including tea, as well as a home item good like this chopstick here. The box also partners up with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for a hundred years. As for Tokyo Treat, it's going to be 20 of the latest, most exclusive limited edition and seasonal items that are only available in Japan. If you guys want to get your hands on all these items and try them, use my code KITASHAN04 to get $5 off on your first Sakurako or Tokyo Treat boxes. Links are down below. Now while I eat all these goodies, you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So big news for Type Moon fans. I'm sure you guys see the title and the thumbnail already, but we will be talking about it at the end of the video. But yes, Mahotsukai no Yoru, Witch of the Holy Night News, was revealed in Type Moon Ace Volume 14. So like I just mentioned, Type Moon Ace Volume 14 revealed new information for the upcoming re-release of Mahotsukai no Yoru. We have confirmation that the re-release of the game will be in HD and will release on both the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch December 2022. They also revealed five additional cast members for the game. Aoki Aoko will of course be played by Tomo Haruka. We know this because of the Tsukihime remake and Melty Blood Type Lumina. Kunoji Alice will be played by Hanaza Kana. Honestly, an interesting choice here. Shizuki Sojuro will be played by Kobayashi Yusuke. Komane Kojika will be played by Andai Chika. Kinomi Hosuke will be played by Kajikawa Shohei, and Tsukiji Tobimaru will be played by Fukamichi Toshinari. It's also been confirmed that the anime film adaptation of Mahotsuka no Yoru is planned to release late 2023 according to an interview in the magazine. So of course, the cast members that I just read off right now most likely will be in the anime. Now let's talk about the big news that wasn't from Type Moon A's Volume 14. It has officially been confirmed that the upcoming re-release of Mahotsuka no Yoru game will be released with not only Japanese language text, but with English, simplified Chinese, 
and traditional Chinese. Yes, there have been Type Moon games released outside of Japan before. I mean, Melty Blood Type Lumina is one of them. We have Fate Extra, Extella Link, and of course, Fate Grand Order. But for a full-on visual novel from Type Moon, never. This will be officially the first visual novel in Type Moon history that will be released outside of Japan. Again, this is huge. If you guys are a Type Moon fan, you need to buy this game. Mahouts Kanyodu is a personal favorite of mine when it comes to all Type Moon and visual novels. It's an amazing story and I want everyone to know about it. Plus, if the visual novel sells well, it's possible that we could see a re-release of Fate Stay Night, Fate Hollow Ataraxia, Tsukihime Remake in English text, of course traditional and simplified Chinese. So please do support Type Moon on this one guys. Like. Mahou Tsukai Niyoru is an amazing, amazing story. Like, it basically tells the story of one of the most, if not the most important, Type Moon character ever, Aozaki Aoko. And I do think everyone needs to understand her history in order to appreciate the Nasuverse even more. And again, this is something that I believe everyone should read if you are a Type Moon fan. So yeah, it's going to basically be about it. I mean, I've already played the original release version of Mahouts Ganyoru, and of course, I know a lot of lore about Aodaki Aoko and stuff like that, but I'm still planning to buy this re-release because I do want to, you know, play the visual novel with full voices, and of course, I'm very excited for the upcoming uh, anime film that's coming out as well. Uh, the cast members, uh, interesting choices to be really honest with you, but hey, I'm not going to question it. Uh, they've always been spot on with voice acting before, so yeah, this is going to be an amazing project for them. Uh, hopefully, we'll get you know a re-release on all of the other games that I just mentioned uh, earlier, like Fate Stay Night, Hollow Ataraxia, of course, with English and you know simplified and uh, traditional Chinese text. Uh, that'd be really cool to see and again I do believe this is the start of that so uh, we do need to uh, you know up the sales for this one because again hey Japan does uh, look at the numbers so you really should buy this game if you actually want to see you know re-releases of older Type Moon visual novel games and future Type Moon visual novel games and even other you know games but yeah that's basically going to be about it thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed and comment down below and tell me if you guys are going to be buying Mahouts Kanyoru Witch of the Holy Knight I'll see you guys in the next one laters